Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Sridhar Venmaneni at Prajna Medical Center in Kukutpilly. Today we'll be talking about the role of uh, diet in preventing heart disease and cancers. All over the world, the most common cause of um, death is heart disease, followed by uh, cancer, stroke and dementia. And diet plays a big role in preventing all these risk factors. Today I'll be talking about diet in particular and we'll discuss in detail about the plate method which is uh, strongly recommended uh, in US and Europe. The plate method involves eating more vegetables and small quantities of um, meats and, uh, and whole grains in small quantities. Before I go to the plate method and discuss in detail, I just want to um, inform you the, inf the importance of um, plant-based protein. Studies clearly show that when we increase our uh, plant intake, and increase uh, protein through plant-based food. There's less inflammation in the body and the precursors uh, for cancers and heart disease are mostly um, inflammation in the body and inflammation is directly related to um, what we eat and also other risk factors like exercise, lack of exercise, stress and genetic factors. Among diet, the most important thing is to increase your uh, intake of vegetables and fruits and reduce the intake of meats and processed foods. So I will uh, come to the plate method in detail at this point. If this is your plate, at least half the plate should be um, vegetables and the word is non-starchy vegetables. You want to eat a lot of green leafy vegetables, you want to eat um, um, all kinds of um, other vegetables like your um, uh, okra, your, your uh, spinach, your, your um, um, broccoli, you don't want to eat too much um, here in this portion. You don't want to add any um, starchy vegetables like potatoes and sweet potatoes. So this is mostly non-starchy vegetables. And if you can see um, here is um, the whole list includes um, all your green beans, your broccoli, your cabbage, cauliflower, your um, you know eggplant, all the greens, your um, peppers, radishes, soybeans, sprouts, and a bunch of other uh, vegetables there. The protein portion um, is pretty small here. The, the portion should be the size of uh, a pack of cards, really small portion for protein intake. Unless you're uh, an athlete um, or if you're somebody trying to um, increase your um, muscle buildup, then you want to increase the protein portion. Otherwise, the guidelines are to have about approximately, uh, you know, the size is uh, one pack of cards is the size of the protein. So here you could have either fish, um, you know, all the meats, um, chicken, um, you know, mutton or uh, beef. And then carbs portion is really, this is the carbohydrate portion, it's really small, it's a quarter plate. So the plate is really a really small portion and this is where um, you want to eat uh, whole grains, you want to eat, um, you know, a whole wheat um, chapati or multigrain chapati. Um, if you're going to eat Portion size is really small here. The, ideally, the size is, um, you know, the size is um, of a, the size of a computer mouse, really small. The exceptions are for somebody who's really physically active or somebody trying to um, um, go to the gym and, you know, start gaining weight. For them, these portions um, should be much higher. So the same thing with the meat intake should be higher for uh, somebody going to the gym and trying to gain or uh, athletes, professional athletes do need to eat more protein and more carbs. But in general, for most people, small portions of carbs and here you always want to do whole grain, whole wheat, multigrain, um, stuff like that. And here vegetables, you can always add all kinds of um, colorful vegetables, your peppers, your carrots, um, all kinds of rainbow colored vegetables here. In addition to um, your full plate of vegetables, you want to have a small fruit with each meal. The fruit should be the size of a tennis ball. So this comes to approximately about 15 grams of carbs. Um, so this could be a small apple, orange, peach, pear, plum, um, a small banana, all those are uh, things that you can add in here. Now, in terms of uh, milk products, you can have uh, a small cup of um, low fat milk or yogurt uh, with food or in between your meals. The guidelines are not to um, uh, consume too much whole, um, whole milk products because that in turn can lead to uh, increase, um, increase your cholesterol, increase plaque buildup in your arteries, which in turn can lead to heart disease. So 
Here, milk products um, is, should be low fat, uh, 1% or 2%. So studies um, clearly show that patients who consume more vegetables and more plant-based protein live longer. Um, like I you know, told you earlier, there's reduced risk of heart disease, cancers, dementia. In fact, studies also show that patients who uh, eat less meat and more plant-based protein have less inflammation, uh, including uh, arthritis and autoimmune conditions. Now, what are plant-based proteins? If you look at um, the common examples of plant-based proteins are um, your consumption of your uh, lentils, all kinds of beans, including uh, choli, rajma. And then you have um, all the seeds and nuts have some protein, but also have um, a lot of fat. So the consumption should be limited to uh, less than one tablespoon a day. Other examples of plant-based protein are um, your flax seeds, um, uh, wheat, um, gluten which has a lot of protein and then you have um, hemp seeds and all kinds of seeds uh, which are uh, loaded with uh, protein as well as uh, good fats but the consumption should be limited to uh, less than one tablespoon a day a lot of other vegetables like um, your broccoli um, have uh, protein uh, uh, in them as well. The other recommendations for diet are to consume uh, high fiber as much as possible and whole grains as much as possible. And you can always add um, some spices uh, to your diet. Studies clearly show that um, spices do reduce inflammation in the body, which in turn can, you know, have a lot of health benefits. The other things that you can add on uh, to reduce inflammation in the body is always um, to exercise at least 30 minutes five days a week and to uh, reduce your alcohol intake and uh, reduce your stress, all of which can reduce inflammation, which in turn can reduce the risk of heart disease and cancers. Thank you.